I first met Adam when I started working for Merle's in the Fire. Uh, for those that don't know, I work with him. Um, he has the pleasure of working with me. Adam's been the guy that's always been there for me. He's the guy that I called when I wrecked my truck. Hey, I need something. I need some help. We were looking to move south. Adam was the guy that said, hey, I got an apartment for you, which led to us living across the hall from each other, that's which <laughs> that's one way to put it. Uh, my wife would say shenanigans is a good word. So through all that, he introduced me to Morgan and told me stories about her, and she lived up to all of them. And then I found out she's a Clemson fan. No, oh, wrong, wrong time to cheer. <laughs> but I only wish them the best. Congratulations. Let's raise, a, raise your glass to Adam and Morgan. I've been with Morgan since we were about seven years old. To put up with somebody for 22 years, you really have to be special. And her friendship really has been. I can't think of a time that she wasn't in my life. But that probably stems from me calling her as a child and literally not saying a word to her on the phone. <laughs> and her mom wondering what in the world we weren't talking about. And now we can't get each other to shut up. No matter how many times that we've lost touch, we went right back like we've never skipped a beat. We went from being kids chasing boys to both marrying amazing men. Morgan, not only have you gained a husband, but you've gained a daughter whom I can tell you that you love like she's your own. Morgan and Adam, I'm honored to share this day with two amazing people and wish you both a lifetime of happiness from this day on. Cheers. <laughs> We are gathered here on this beautiful day to witness the union of Morgan and Adam. This is a day of great celebration and reverence on which we come together before God to recognize and honor the sacred love and dedication shared between these two people. Morgan and Adam, today you are making a lifelong 
commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other. It's wonderful to have family and friends here to join us today. The bride and groom would like to thank their guests for being here and would like you to know that each of you were invited because you have played an important part in their lives. I, Adam, thank you, Morgan, to be my lawfully widowed wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. You were mine, yeah, I always knew. From the moment I first laid my eyes on you, your blue eyes sparkle the perfect match for your dress. Hi Morgan, take you Adam. To be my lovely wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. Better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health. <laughs> to love and to cherish till death do us part. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You till we kiss your I'll die. Until the day that I die. Did you know I can still taste our first kiss? The warmth of your breath, the cool of your lips, the softness of your fingertips on the back of my neck. Darling, I still hear the words To have and to hold Until we grow old Choking back tears of joy Tears of joy And all of my love for the rest of my life Will be only for you till the day that I die Forever with me